Hi, this is Dr. Jason Han. Hi, this is Dr. Raymond Shing. Uh, we're from HealthFit Physical Therapy and Chiropractic in Pasadena. Um, I wanted to take some time to talk about back pain and how it relates to core stability. But I guess the big question is, what is the core? So the core, the region of the, the core is basically from here to here. And if you visualize a, a cylinder, uh, the front of the cylinder is more like your abdominals. So there's about four layers of, of abdominal muscles. And if you go to the back, there is your back extensors. So there's different layers of back extensors. On the bottom of the cylinder is your pelvic floor. And on the top is your diaphragm, which not many people um, pay attention to. So the diaphragm works in a way where when you breathe, it goes down. So as it goes down, it draws air into the lungs. Um, so the diaphragm is important because as it brings, as it lowers, it creates this pressure. So the cylinder analogy that Dr. Hong was talking about, as you bring that cylind top of the cylinder down, it creates this pressure that helps stabilize your low back. Sometimes during um, the day when we're stressed, we tend to shallow breathe a lot. So when we shallow breathe and chest breathe, that diaphragm doesn't work very well. It doesn't lower as much as it should. Um, so the goal is to make sure that you're relaxed, that you're using that diaphragm, and we're trying to get you out of what they call the sympathetic state, the fight or flight state. We want to get you into the parasympathetic state so that you can breathe better, um, use your diaphragm more, and have less back pain. Absolutely, because he talks about that sympathetic and parasympathetic state. So the sympathetic is a fight or flight state. So if any of you have ever been in some type of acute pain and you're scared to move, what do you do? You hold your breath. Or if you've ever had any acute low back episodes, in order to pick something up, you hold your breath and hold, you're basically holding on for dear life. And it's more of a protection mechanism, but it's really hard to get out of it unless you restore proper breathing techniques. So what we're gonna have, I'm gonna have Dr. Raymond Shing um, demonstrate proper diaphragmatic breathing because that's what's gonna help you get out of an acute state and hopefully it can um, carry you over to everything else that you do. So uh, Dr. Shing is gonna lay on his back. So when a client first comes in, we, we have the client just breathe normally. So go ahead and take a deep breath for me and breathe out. So this is typically what we will see. We will see a lot of chest breathing. Go ahead and do that. Okay. And then even for yourselves, go ahead and try to take a deep breath and see where you're breathing from. So if he's breathing here, he's getting too much accessory movement and not enough of the diaphragm. So here's a simple exercise that we like to do. One hand is on the belly and the other hand's on the chest. My cue to him is going to be keep this still and only your belly rises as you inhale through your nose and exhale out slowly. Okay, inhale through your nose, make your belly rise and breathe out slowly. If you guys try it, it's actually rather difficult, but if you do this, it'll bring you out of that sympathetic state into a parasympathetic state and allowing that intra-abdominal pressure to improve creating better core stability. If you have any questions, leave some comments in the area below.